Hi everyone, my name is Svetlana and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing for you the newest product from Oli Henriksen and it's Wrinkle Blur Bakuchal Eye Gel Cream. It's a powerhouse a double action eye cream that blurs the look of fine lines and wrinkles while also visibly improving skin firmness, elasticity, and the look of dark circles. Here is the product itself and I've noticed that some of the products with Bakuchol does come with that beautiful lavender purplish color. I paid 49 US dollars at Sephora for 18 milliliters of 0.6 fluid ounces. It is a little more pricey, but Bakuchol is a natural alternative to retinol without the irritation. And just like most of the retinol products, they come a little pricey. I'm gonna bring it just a little closer so you can see the two different shades of purple color. So one of them is the Bakuchol and it's one of the main ingredients. And another one is orchid stem cells. It's the more of a clear whitish color in it. Bakuchal has a range of anti-aging benefits to the skin. It does reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, just like the retinol would do. Helps restore firmness, refine skin texture, and even out skin tone. I love to use retinol on a daily basis, and I do have different products with a different strength of retinol. A while ago, I did a video on drunk elephant retinol. It did give me a horrible reaction the first time I've used it. It did irritate my neck area and my cheek area. It was peeling for about a week. I wasn't able to use any other products. I did learn how to use Drunk Elephant and it's one of my favorite retinol products. It's extremely strong and it's extremely irritating, especially if you don't know how to use it properly. And when the first time I applied it, I actually didn't apply it correctly. So that's why it gave me a lot of irritation. Irritation is a very common side effect when you use in retinol. So when when it comes to Bakuchol, it's a retinol alternative, so it does have almost the same properties as the retinol, but just without the irritation. The first time I've tried Bakuchol, it was actually from Herbivore, and they had a Bakuchol alternative serum, and I've used the whole product, and I absolutely loved it. When I purchased a Herbivore Bakuchol, it was actually just a temporary product, so after I ran out, I wasn't able to purchase it anymore because they actually did didn't sell it. I did see the product coming back to Sephora, so I'm extremely excited about that because I've seen such a huge difference in my skin texture, elasticity. It did even have my skin tone, so I've loved using that product so much. I have been using this Wrinkle Blur eye cream for about three weeks now. As you can see, my under eye area has some fine lines and the wrinkles, and the under eye area skin, it usually a lot more dry than the rest of my face. So when it comes to the eye creams, I do like a lot of really great ingredients. I'm not able to use retinol for the under eye area. They actually don't recommend using it because under eye area skin is very, very sensitive. It's super thin. It's very gentle. My under eye area usually needs a lot of hydration and I like the creams to be very heavy with a lot of great ingredients. So when it comes to the eye cream, a Wispa Kuchel is just amazing. I will tell you the other two main ingredients and I've already mentioned it is the orchid stem cells and it kind of has quite similar benefits as the bakuchol. It helps reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles and it improves skin firmness. This product has peptides which help condition the under eye area. I'm gonna show you this product first on my hand right in here and we're gonna Kind of massage it gently. And then I'll be applying it for my under eye area as well. So I can show you just a little bit closer what it actually gonna do for my under eye area. It has very, very light, pleasant, extremely pleasant scent to this product. 
This specific product is clean at Sephora. It doesn't contain any parabens, phthalates, sulfates, or any harmful ingredients to the skin, which is really nice, especially when it comes to such a delicate spot like your under eye area. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the makeup and then I'll be back and I'll be showing you how I'm applying this product. There's no science behind that, but I also want you to see exactly what this product does for my under eye area. I just washed my face and this is how my under eye area usually looks after I remove all of the makeup. It is a little more dry and quite dehydrated and I'm gonna get just a little closer so I can show it to you guys. Especially this eye right in here you can see it, I do have some fine lines and wrinkles unfortunately. I do love tanning. I do not wear any sunglasses when I go outside. It's just I know it's horrible, but it is what it is. I'm trying to keep my under eye area looking as young as possible for as long as possible. I also have the hooded eyes and this is another thing that I actually don't like about my eyes. Beyond that, let's just go ahead and apply some of this product. So I'm gonna show it to you right in here one more time. It has the softest texture. It feels extremely nice on skin. So let's just actually, let's go ahead and start applying it right on this eye. So I get a little bit of that product and just gently apply it under my eye area first. And then I do apply a little bit of it on a lid as well. But look at that. Just after I applied this product, it does have very slight tingling effect. And it feels kind of minty. It feels a little cold on skin. I don't know. I don't know how exactly to explain what I'm feeling. After you chew a mint, it does give this minty feeling, minty effect. And that's what it's doing with my under eye area as well. This eye is not as bad as my left eye but I do get some of these fine lines and wrinkles right in this area as well. Usually one pump is more than enough for both of my eyes. Sometimes I feel like I get very paranoid and I just want to keep applying and reapplying this product. And I like to get all the way right in here. This is where majority of the wrinkles are right in here as well. And of course, if you are a happy person, then you'll have tons of fine lines and wrinkles, but it's all right. Enjoy your life, people. Okay, just look at that. I do still have my fine lines and wrinkles. They are not disappearing. They are not going anywhere, but it looks so much more hydrated and it feels extremely soft on skin. Oh my goodness. I love that texture. I love the filling of this eye cream. I feel like this product is starting to work immediately. And I'm trying to get so the camera actually is picking up on my eye areas. That was as easy as that. It's super easy to apply this product. It feels very comfortable applying it. It feels really nice on my skin right now as well. So as I already mentioned, the first two weeks I've been using this product strictly for my nighttime skincare routine. And after about a week and a half, I haven't noticed a huge, huge difference. I haven't noticed 
too much hydration and I believe is because my under eye area is just extremely dehydrated so it feels really good when I'm applying this product but by the time I wake up in the morning it's a little more dry in this area again it is a really great product but I feel like for very mature mature skin is just not enough hydration or if you have very dry under eye area is just not enough hydration as well so what i've been actually doing with this product i do use very nice and heavy avocado cream from glow a recipe it's just extremely hydrating for the nighttime and i've been using this product in the morning and i've seen a huge 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 difference in my under eye area for the daytime this is an amazing cream it blurs my under eye area all of the products that i'm applying like foundation concealer powder whatever it is it doesn't dry out my area and it stays looking perfect throughout the day which i absolutely love it does give that very nice blurring effect it's not too heavy it's not too greasy but unfortunately for the nighttime, it's just not enough for me. That's it for this video, guys. If you like it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for my weekly videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.